this is your album is like also like a personal journey for you uh, mm. what you're going through with I mean yeah. most of the songs that I write I write when I'm on tour I have my laptop and my guitar and just play it in so it's an, there's an inevitability really that the songs are kind of kind of mirror my journey through the last four or five years I think you know, there's tracks in the first that are very much written in a different place to where I am you know when I was writing a track like the window of your mind or postcards from Catalonia there's a real you know curve of you know of change yeah what is, what is the biggest change then for you and like two or three years ago where you yeah were you a different person then or? I mean there's not been so much change in me in terms of personality but more so much in just in circumstance and I'm not having to work another job now I'm able to make music every day which is the biggest change and probably the best change you know it's quite an honor to be doing this and you know, to be playing guitar and to be writing and to be touring and you know that's inevitably affected other situations in my life such as you know, my personal relationships friendships and it's kind of just you know there's tracks in particular like let the journey begin kind of first track of the album really sets the tone by saying you know things have changed but you know seasons change and friendships change and people move away but as long as you stick to you know your ideals and who you think you are then you know it doesn't really matter yeah is it important for you to to have to have some to have a sort of message or something to say in your music it's it's Because not so much i think it shows a bit that you yeah so much to tell it seems i'm just yeah. I, i just think you know that whether it be me or whether it be you know another artist or you know somebody that's just standing in the street handing out leaflets if you believe in something then you've got to say it you know there's no point in hiding behind you know an image or an alter ego you know you've just if something's in your heart then you've got to go out and say it and you know privileged to be have the opportunity you know to talk to people you know like yourself and people at radio and uh, tv all over the world you know and I don't want to be like, you know, had a good, you know, went to a good party, met a few people, kind of blah, blah, blah. I want to be, you know, saying the things that I believe, you know, need to happen, you know, supporting fair trade, going out and, you know, just looking after people in your community. And, you know, I, you know, it's weird that I never set out to be, you know, somebody that had a message. And it kind of just developed from, you know, being in the situation where, you, you know, people are going to hear what you're saying, you've got to talk about something. So what you say, And needs to yeah. be worthy of being heard. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, for the time then, um, Billy Bragg. Yeah. Was, uh, he played on the album, mm. and he's kind of a hero for you. Yep. Uh, I was meeting him. When did you meet him for the first time? The uh, first that? time I met Billy, um, I think it was Glastonbury two years ago, and I just um, no, it must have been three years ago. Yeah, three years ago when um, I went as um, went as a fan and. Just went to see him on the Friday night. I hadn't seen him play before, and just blew me away. And I, you know, went off and found him, and I had a bit of grin in Glastonbury, to be honest. And it was nice, you know. It's one of those when, when you've had not such a good festival that you've been looking forward to, and you see a band, and you're just like, that's amazing. And I saw him there, and just kind of would run into him at Love Music Hate Racism events and other things like that. And we played in Bridport, where he lives as well. So he came came to the show, and we just keep kind of bumping into him and I still find it very strange to be honest. Yeah. I, I, I you know, I, lo I love Billy Bragg. I think he's, you know, to me he's an example of how I'd want to be, you know, and how I'd want to see my yeah. career. Yeah,